Welcome to Let's Talk Investing, a co-production of the Globe and Mail and the Investor Education Fund. I'm Rob Carrick, personal finance columnist at the Globe and Mail. And with me is Pat Moore. Pat's an economist at Bank of Nova Scotia, and she is a specialist in, in commodities. Pat, let's talk about commodities and inflation. It's a, it's a commonly said uh, thing in investing that commodities are a great hedge against inflation. Inflation can be rising. One thing that will keep its value are hard things like commodities. What, uh, what's your take on that? Well, I think that's largely correct. Uh, you know, hard assets really will maintain their value uh, better than sometimes and paper currencies and of course we see that fairly well in gold uh, but also I'd say in oil and even some of the base metals because of the tremendous emerging market demand. So it sounds to me like an investor who is looking ahead to economic recovery and is concerned about inflation becoming more of a problem that commodities are an important uh, portfolio component. Would you agree with that? Yes I would. Now what commodities in particular do well in an inflationary environment? Well, usually oil does well, uh, gold and silver do very well, and uh, uh, they also do well uh, during uh, a lot of volat volatile financial markets. So when you have economic and financial market uncertainty, gold and, of course, precious metals usually maintain their value quite well. Are there any commodities that don't do well when inflation is a concern? Well, sometimes, as, uh, as we've talked about with natural gas, when there's new technology in the right. supply, so that's, that's one that's available. not participating in this, this general commodity. No. So I'm just wondering, you know, an investor who wants to play commodities, it sounds like a nice, well-rounded um, basket of, of commodities or a natural resources fund, something where a manager is sort of picking, you know, uh, sort of cherry picking from various sectors. That's probably the best approach. Yes, I think so. And sometimes uh, people can do well with ETFs, exchange-traded funds. Okay. And, and do you, do you, uh, what, what are your thoughts on ETFs that target specific commodities? Like there's one for natural gas and there's one for gas. And there's others that follow commodity indexes where you're exposed to, let's say, six to eight different commodities. What, which do you prefer? Well, I, I think in, investors have to know something about the commodity that they're putting their money into. So if you're going to buy an ETF and, and you're not a commodity market specialist, perhaps a more diversified okay. one. Now, last question for you, Pat. We've been talking about inflation, but there are people out there who believe deflation is possible. What happens to commodities when we have deflation? Well, it's not going to be a, a positive environment for commodities, I don't think, because usually deflation is caused by very poor economic conditions. And there's no demand for commodities. And there's no demand. Great. Thanks, Pat. Thank you.